Hello, and welcome to my next Executive Series video. Our topic is storage. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first Executive Series video that you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover. In the Executive Series, we have a standard agenda, which covers four main areas. You can see those in the progress bar. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement, storage, comes directly from 820.150 and 1345 sections 4.2.3, 7.1, and 7.5.11. Storage in five words. Protect product during storage. We have to have a procedure that defines the needed controls to protect our product during storage. The procedure must ensure that we prevent mix-ups, damage, contamination, deterioration, or other adverse effects during product storage. We also have to ensure that expired, deteriorated, rejected, or damaged product is not released. If our product degrades over time, we have to implement the needed stock rotation requirements within our procedures. Ultimately, we have to make sure that only conforming product is released. In stock rooms and other storage areas, we have to have the requirements for dispatching product clearly identified and defined. So how do I know this is working? Well, my storage areas are neat, they're clean, and they're tidy. There's no mixed product and everything is in good working order. Second, I've defined my controls for storage areas bringing product in and out, segregating product, protecting product. That's all defined in a procedure. Third, if I have equipment that I need to protect my product, say freezers or other pieces of equipment, those are all validated for their intended use. And then finally, I ensure that any expired, deteriorated, rejected product is not released. It's kept here. So how do I know this is not working? Well, first, I have product in my storage areas which is not identified, it's mixed, it's deteriorated, it's contaminated, it's, we're, we're just not protecting product while it's in storage. Second, if I have any equipment, it's not validated. And then finally, I've released deteriorated, expired, or rejected product. Now for those three bonus questions. Do we utilize FIFO, first in, first out, in our storage environments? If yes, what procedure do we use? Second. Have we had any recalls due to mixed product that has come from storage areas? And then finally, what temperature control requirements do we have for our products? Do we have any freezers that are validated or do we have to deal with cold chain? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.